iJunkIceDFW.net guys I wanted to talk and do a video while on my walk about third-party contracts that you have with other companies and honestly this has been coming up to me a lot lately uh, people have been reaching out to me and asking me if I've ever heard of a company called Load Up or Jiffy Junk. And these companies, what they do is they plaster a lot of their information online. They, they put it on the front page of Google. They're paying for ads. And what happens is that customers, like normal customers that are at their home or their business, will see these ads. Call them. Then they give them a price. Then they subcontract a junk removal company like me. Okay, so let's pretend that they charge $150 for a mattress or $100 for a mattress. Uh, you know what? We're going to give it a price. So let's just say that a customer calls and wants a mattress removed and they give them a price of $120. So Load Up and Jiffy Junk, the third party, will look at that and then they charge the customer $120. Then they call around and ask junk removal companies and they will call about five or six company and get a price for it and at this point they're probably established already so they're already working with somebody in the area so what they do is they get that price and they give a company like me 85 or 75 dollars and they pocket the rest of the money which is about you know 25 plus 20 45 bucks without doing anything but what they've done is honestly stolen a customer from us they have taken a customer from us and then it hasn't allowed us to make the full amount and that's what I'm telling everybody these companies load up and Jiffy Junk you got to be careful with these companies do not take business from them because here's what happens is as they I mean this is what's happened Jiffy Junk has grown their business that not only are they in Texas they're in North Carolina they're in New York, they're in California, they're in other states. Why? Because we allowed them to use us to grow their business. And that's exactly what we've done. We've allowed them to use our service, our hard work, and let them grow their business. And they've got offices, they've got employees answering the phone. They're even, they got a guy who does, all he does is demographics. So that means he checks the neighborhood, the zip code, the, co the phone number that a customer calls, finds that area. As soon as the customer says, hey, yeah, I'm on 76137, they check and see the household medium in that area and get this. They got a price for that area because it's either a low income area, it's either a median income area or it's a high income area. So it really depends where it's located. And that's one thing that as junk removal companies, we don't do. As a small junk removal, we don't do that. We don't do all that demographics, all that geolocation and stuff. We just give them a price. They know what they're doing. So how did they get to that point? We did. We allowed them to get to that point. So I had a friend call me from North Carolina. And he says, Ricardo, I just started working with this company called Jiffy Junk. And I'm like, yeah, I've heard of them. I heard somebody didn't get paid from them. And, and yeah, they given me a hundred dollars per mattress, any refrigerator, refrigerator or fridge or freezer that I remove, they're going to pay me 150 for it. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, so how many jobs have they sent? Well, they want this, this installation fee of 150 bucks to start out. I'm like, well, wait a minute, bro. So now, get this, Jiffy Junk, who's getting the jobs for us, wants like a processing fee. Like, what is this, a startup fee now? I don't get what's going on. So at first, they were just subbing out jobs, subbing out jobs to us, but now they want a processing for it, fee for it. Now, that's one company. Now, Load Up, I'm gonna tell you what Load Up has done. Load Up has some smart people on their computers. I'm gonna tell you something. The person who's doing the content building the person that they have in their office doing all the computer work for SEO, the search engine optimization, that person's a very smart person. And I don't know exactly how he's doing it, but for some reason, they've managed to get all their pages ranked because they're putting so much content out there that it's relevant. And this relevant content that they're putting out there is attracting Google and Facebook to rank them higher. And that's how they're in that position. And go load up. I, I've looked at their, not their website, but I've looked at like 
I'll Google junk removal in Boston or something, and they show up, and they're on the front page. And then I go research why they're on the front page, and I'm going to tell you, they've dedicated a whole page to Boston. They, they go all out. These guys, I mean, they have a whole page for, like, Bedford, Texas, uh, Flower Mound, Texas. These guys do not play around. They know what they're doing. Most of the time they're doing this, they have somebody who knows something about SEO, who has done their research, and these guys are no joke. So I want to tell you guys, steer away from these companies. We have built these companies to what they are. And now they're junk removal companies, but they're virtual junk removal companies that have actually <coughs> built their business on taking advantage of us. And, and I think a lot of people are, you know, a lot of people have honestly, they're okay with it. They're okay with the fact that they give us jobs and they make money off of us. But, you know, I don't look at it that way. I look at it as two more competitors out there that are sitting and stealing really good jobs from us. That's how I look at it. And I think you need to look at it also. Okay, so I want, that's something I want to talk. The second thing is about these two virtual companies, okay? They have been lately, if you're working with them, they give you a lot of, yeah, like what they do is they drop all these crumbs, right? And they say, hey, you're going to make money off of us. We're going to help you get jobs. And then you get hooked because you don't have to do any SEO. You don't have to build any content. You don't have to put any social media. You've built it because of them. And then they say, well, you know what? We need 10 or 20% off that price of this refrigerator. We were going to pay you 150, but now we're only going to pay you 100 bucks. And that's what happens. By that time, you're hooked already. You're addicted to the jobs they've given you. And you have no choice but to drop your price. And that's one thing that they've done a lot of. They've taken advantage of us with pricing. So, um, I will tell you. I am more... Uh, of these two companies, I am more impressed with Loadup because of their social media, their content building, their SEO. It's, a, it's just incredible SEO what they've bun, done, bun, what they've done with it. And I'm more impressed with them how they built their business from nothing to what it is right now. So be aware of these third party uh, virtual companies that have now grown up to be something that we. We actually did it. We put two more competitors out there by helping them build their business. All right, guys. So anyway, I think this is just a warning or more like a be careful what the heck you're doing. But if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you all later, guys. Bye-bye.